Hi, and welcome to Psychic Today. I'm your host, Jill Roberts. And on today's episode, we're going to talk more about azestrolytes. Now, I know we've gone through some of them, and Mr. Robert Simmons is finding more and more azestrolytes in New Zealand and wherever he may be mining at the moment. But we've gone over Himalayan gold, Amazes, white azestrolite found here in the USA, Santa Rosa, pink, which is also known as Rhododes, Sinazes, golden azestrolite, Satchiloka clear azestrolite, Satchiloka rose, and Satchiloka yellow, as well as sorolite. Now, those are just what we've gone through over the last three seasons now on this show. And at last count, I think there are maybe 18 or 19 azestrolites. But don't have any fear. Because we're coming up on Valentine's Day, I thought I'd talk about azestrolites that add to the whole love aspect and not only heighten our vibration but fill us with love and and emotion and sexuality that will maybe help you with this beautiful holiday coming up if you have a partner or a loved one. So hold on and I'll be right back with Pink Fire Azestulite. Hi, and welcome back to Psychic Today. So the first stone I'm going to talk about is Pink Fire Zestulite. Some key words for it is the inner fire of divine love, high heart activation, passionate self-identification with love, emotional and physical self-healing. Its element is fire, and the chakras it resonates with are the heart, which is the fourth, the high heart, which is between the fourth and the fifth chakras. So it's a little bit above the heart chakra, but below the throat. Now, pink fire azestulite is a name given to a milky, semi-transparent form of azestulite characterized by streaks of dark brown reddish hematite. It's a silicon dioxide mineral with a hexagonal crystal system, and it has a hardness of 7 on the Mohs hardness scale. It was found on an island off the African coast. Pink fire is estrolyte is energetically an unusual stone because it becomes infused with the currents of azestrolite through the Azazeo superactivation process. In its non-Azazeo activated state, it is called agnetite. Now, I've done an episode on Agnetite, so you can always go back through my catalog and you can find all the azestrolites I've covered and Agnetite as well, because Agnetite is also a very high vibrational stone. It's a wonderful stone to work with, so it's not to be overlooked. I also spoke about um, Robert Simmons's Azazeo superactivation process. That is in a prior episode as well. If you'd like me to talk about any of these things again, please don't hesitate to drop me a note or leave me a voicemail where you're listening to this. Now, when we first began work with Azestrolites, um, we were told by the Azez, which are angelic beings, that um, they were these were the first and there would be more. So Mr. Simmons has been going around and finding these wonderful stones. You know, he later learned that the Zez intended for all the quartz on earth to eventually resonate with the frequencies of Azestulite. This is a profound work of transformation, one that could make the earth into a planet of light. The Azazeo process allows us to facilitate that transformational activation, and one stone that proves this is pink fire azestulite. 
After its expo- exposure to the Azazeo field, it has taken on new pro- uh, properties. Um, one of these is responsible for its new name. The Hindu rishis spoke many centuries ago in the Rig Veda about the divine fire or Agni, which is where Agnetai gets its name for, from as well, which was both a being and an internal experience. When Agni enters the body, it transforms the cells into light. It, it, it's a light-giving source of vast energy that brings enlightenment, ecstasy, and knowledge of truth. Agnetite has always been a conduit of these energies, but its newly activated Azazeo state makes it much more powerful. In addition to the profoundly powerful energies emanated by these stones, there is a particular experience they can engender. It is the entry of the fire of divine love, a pink fire centered in the heart. When one meditates with superactivated agnetite, which is pink fire is estrolite, one may feel the streaming power of the stone coursing through the body and eventually focusing in the area of the heart. As this experience intensifies, one feels inner heart in that area and one can see interior spiritual light, a pink light that is also felt as being quite warm, like pink fire or an in, you know, interior spiritual light. A pink light that is also felt as being quite warm intensifies these sensations. And imagining the stone's etheric image actually moving into the heart can increase and intensify even more. As this occurs, the warmth and light within the chest can grow and strengthen until one may actually sweat from the sense of internal heat or weep from the experience of divine love emanated by the pink light. Carrying the experience through its, to its fulfillment can bring about an awakening of the high heart, a usually dormant energy center several inches above the heart chakra. The high heart is a chakra as well. This spot is the bodily throne of the divine self and the seat from which inner wisdom and truth can begin to be accessed on a continuous basis. When this center is fully activated, one will notice that pink fire is always blazing there, reaching out through us to bless, heal, and awaken the world. Thus, it is not a physical color of the stone, which is semi-transparent with some reddish inclusions, but the inner experience of the pink fire that is the reason for its name. Now, pink fire zeshulite is a stone of passion. It encourages one to love with great intensity, with no holding back. And this expression of total love is not only for a spouse or partner or for one's children and friends. It is for the world and everything in it. Pink fire zeshulite opens up the floodgates of the heart, teaching the mind that to withhold love is to stifle life itself. This stone teaches that life is love and that giving love supports all life. It triggers within us potential to truly know that love is our foundation, our life force, and an animating energy of the universe. And it offers us the experience of our own unlimited love, which is the same as divine love. Pink fire is zestulite circulates its currents through the body, making love actually a cellular experience. It can eventually teach the cells that love is the antidote to illness and even death. Thus, it is an ideal stone for those seeking to heal dysfunctions such as autoimmune disorders in which the body attacks itself, visualizing the pink fire pouring out of the stone and filling every cell with its loving light is recommended in working with this stone for self-healing. Pink fire zeshulite is useful for emotional self-healing as well, bringing an infusion of unconditional love into one's energy field. The intensity of love emanated by pink fire zeshulite can dissolve rigid patterns of old pain, self-inflicted emotional damage, and the discouragement of having felt abandoned or unloved. Love is both joyful and serious and powerful as well. When one feels power and purpose of love, one's attachments to old 
fragmented ways of being can be dislodged. The discovery often leads to moments of exuberant joy, as well as inner commitments to serve the flow of love as it rises to permeate and transform our world. Raw or polished pieces of paint fire zeshalite can be used to fill one's environment with powerful love energies. The stone can be worn to help keep oneself connected to the currents of divine love at all times. It works harmoniously with all other zeshalites, as well as azumar, Helorite, rose quartz, morganite, rhodonite, rhodochrostite, and kunzite. Spiritually, pink fire is as light kindles the inner fire of divine love, making one both a receiver and a transmitter of intense and powerful love energies. Emotionally, pink fire is light initiates the energy of love in a way that can go beyond normal human experience. It profoundly aids emotional healing on all levels. Physically, pink fire zeshulite sp- spiritually supports recovery from autoimmune illness. It facilitates self-healing through permeating the cells with the light of fire of divine love. And if you'd like an affirmation to use with this stone in meditation, or just a mantra or intention to go about your day, if you're wearing the stone or carrying it in your pocket, Here's one. I give myself totally to receiving and expressing of divine love. Again, I give myself totally to receiving and expressing of divine love. Now, speaking of love, if you're in a situation where you're not experiencing a give and take or this divine kind of love, whether it be with a partner or a parent or a child. Well, it wouldn't be for a child, but um, other adults in your life. If they are bringing you stress and saying, basically, this is who I am, you have to deal with it, and you know it's not normal, then you need to rid yourself of the toxicity. And around Valentine's Day, we tend to take a look at the relationships in our lives. And we have to let go of those that don't serve us, don't serve a higher purpose, and those that are just toxic to our everyday lives, no matter who that person may be. Um, For me, it was a parent I tried and tried to help my parent and all I got in return was an obsessive, paranoid, delusional person who needed me and put pressure on me. And I've watched him do this my whole life with my mother and even though they don't speak anymore, he's starting to do this with me or he's been doing this with me. And he doesn't realize that he is sticking to old patterns. And I cannot have that type of relationship in my life. So unfortunately, I've had to let that relationship go. And during this time, I realized that this was not normal. Just because I grew up with this, and for the past 43 years, this was, quote-unquote, normal dysfunction of my family life. Well, I have children now, and I have parents that are no longer together, that do not speak. And I can't have any negativity or toxicity in my life because then it goes down to my children. And why would I want to put my children through that? Even though he doesn't act that way with my children, only myself, it ruins my mood. It ruins my day. And even though I love him, I just can't have him in my life. And you may experience a situation where it could be a spouse, a partner, like I said, a parent, whomever, a friend, that is just driving you crazy 
And you have to realize if it doesn't seem normal, it's not. And this is a great time to look at our relationships and not to, to be self-preserving because we owe that to ourselves. I'm talking about a stone here that can reach into every cell of our being and create divine love and that fire to love humanity and raise up the awareness of this world. And there are some people, how can we do that if we're in a constant state of flux and being upset? It's not, it's not conductive to who we are and who we're supposed to be. So this is just a little side note because I'm going to get into red fire zestulite, which is from New Zealand in a minute. But I just want you to reflect on your relationships and see if, because this is the time. It's Valentine's Day. This is when people think about this kind of stuff. I'm not saying we shouldn't think about it any other time of the year because I've thought about it and believe me, many other times of the year. And there's a great quote by Joseph Campbell, which is, we have to let go of the life we are planning to actually let the life that we are meant to live come in. Now that's paraphrasing, but sometimes we have to let go of old relationships and old friendships in order to, you know, move on. So if you hold on, I'll be right back with Red Fire Zestulite. Hi, this is Jill Roberts from the show Psychic Today. And I want to talk about Anchor. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. Number one, it's free. Number two, there's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Number three, Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify Apple Podcast and so many other different apps and platforms. You can make money from your podcast, and this is a biggie, with no minimum listening ship. But so many other podcast creators out there that I've tried, I would only use Anchor. I mean, there's there's no fee. It's completely free, and everything is at your fingertips. It's everything you need to make in a podcast in one place. So now download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Again, that's anchor, A-N-C-H-O-R dot F-M or download the Anchor app. And I can't wait to hear your podcast. Welcome back. Now we're going to talk about this is a great stone for Valentine's Day itself. If you're celebrating with a partner, it's called Red Fire Zestulite. And it's a New Zealand red zestulite. So some key words are life force, enthusiasm, vitality, power, passion, sexuality, etherization of the blood, intelligence, visionary experience, healing, longevity, and alchemical transmutation. The elements for red fire is earth, fire, and storm. And of course, it affects all of the chakras. Red fire zestulite is a member of the zestulite family a microcrystalline silicon dioxide mineral with a hexagonal crystal system and a hardness of 7 on the Mohs hardness scale. It's native to New Zealand, and it's deep red in color. Iron inclusions are the primary coloring agent. 
Red fire zeolite is an unusual stone energetically because its currents are greatly amplified when the stone is put through the Azazeo superactivation process, taking it completely, uh, taking it to a completely different and higher vibrational level. Now, again, just so you know, pictures of the pink fire zeolites and the red fire zeolites are going to be up on the website for this show, which is the name of the show.com, which is psychic today with Jill Roberts.com. Just want to remind you of that there. You can just either click or push if depending if you're using a mobile device or an iPad or uh, any other type of tablet. If you press on any of the pictures, it will take you directly to this episode. So, Red fire of zestulite is a very powerful stone. Its currents are capable of stimulating and awakening any of the chakras. Its vibrations enter the body wherever one is touching it, and they quickly spread through one's entire energetic system. This makes it very it makes it a very useful stone for multiple applications, from spiritual healing to evolutionary transformation. Now, red fire zestulite resonates powerfully with the blood, heart, lungs, and circulatory system. It seems to bring its high vibrations directly into the bloodstream, spreading throughout the body into the tissues as the blood flows. As one experiences this full body pulsation, it can feel as though spiritual light and expanded consciousness are filling one's body cell by cell, yet very quickly. One can sense an inner rejoicing as the consciousness of the cells are awakened to, to the presence of the nameless light. With this stone, however, there is heart as well as light, as if an interior fire has been kindled. With that fire comes a flood of passion, confidence, optimism, and power. One can feel an intensity of energy within oneself like red fire which is the reason these stones were named Red Fire Zestulites. Red Fire Zestulites carry a tremendous amount of life force. It works spiritually to replenish one's strength, endurance, and vitality. It's an excellent stone for overcoming fatigue and stress. That's one I definitely need to work with again because I have so many of these. I think I have all of these Zestulites at this point that have been discovered. And stress has been... Uh, lately between just everyday life um not just with my father but with my 10 year old daughter and trying to get her to do her work and math and my, getting my son into college it's just been a crazy time and i've been very stressful it's been since before um the holidays so then yeah, coming into the new year it's been difficult and I know it's been difficult for a lot of people for a lot of different reasons. So this is a great stone to work with, to overcome the listlessness of being stressed out. Um, if one feels dispelled or anxious, meditating or sleeping with red fire zeolite is highly recommended. This stone also stimulates the pituitary and pineal glands, enhancing their spiritual functions. This is a stone of visionary experience and enhanced capacity for insight. It can help one to access guidance from angelic guides and teachers in the higher realms. It's also a wonderful stone for channeling. If you're learning to channel, red fire zeolite is a great stone to work with. Have one in each hand when you're meditating, and it will help you connect with your higher self, connect with your guides, connect with you know past loved ones. So it's great for channeling. It's great for mediumship. So if you have a loved one that you want to connect with, this is a great stone for that because it does, you know, stimulate the pineal gland. Uh, red fire zeolite is a stone of intense passion. It can stimulate the energy centers linked to sexuality and can even enhance the sexual currents between partners. It is one of the most powerful gemstone aphrodisiacs. If the partners are spiritually linked, it is an excellent stone for those on the tantric path. Red fire zeolite comes from New Zealand, and it's a perfect complementary partner for the white sorolite, also from New Zealand. Where sorolite's energies are gentle, loving, receptive, and yin, 
Red fire zestulite vibrations tend to be active, assertive, and yang. These are amazing stones for helping one to move forward with one's plans and goals. They aid in manifestation by enhancing one's own power to achieve whatever one desires. These stones of, they are stones of great intensity and their currents take one unswervingly towards one's chosen destiny. The vibrational stimulation provided by red fires as you light affects one's intelligence as well. Perhaps these stones stimulate dormant areas of the brain. One can certainly feel them moving <clears throat> strongly inside one's head. Whatever the reason, red fire as you light appears to get the brains, the brain fired up, increasing one's ability to solve problems and aiding one's access to inspired ideas. It is also greatly enhances one's enthusiasm and energy for carrying one's visions forward into manifestation. As a stone of the bloodstream and body, red fire zestulite also waits, aids in the awakening of the mind, the um, intelligence of the cells, organs, and body systems. This intelligence can develop into another kind of body mind that can dialogue with the brain, giving one much greater self-awareness and wisdom. Red fire zestulite also kindles the inner fire of the heart intelligence. Thus, it stimulates the activation of the trinity of intelligence, the brain, heart, and body. This is one of the culminations of the original promise of a zestulite, to, brev- to bring divine light and divine awareness into human beings and into the earth through us. Because red fire zestulite does so much to bring light and joy and vitality <clears throat> into the cells, it is a stone for enhancement of our physical life. My impression is that exposure to red fire zestulite, especially when combined with one's conscious affirmation and cooperation with its currents, can aid in increasing both the quality and duration of your life. When your cellular consciousness awakens and aligns with the nameless light, the effect can penetrate all the way into the DNA and its telomeres, bringing greater longevity through greater joy. Red fire zestulite has the capacity to permeate the entire body with its life-affirming currents. Red fire zestulite has a special relationship with the heart, lungs, bloodstream, and its current links into the body through those channels. They bring enlightened energies into the blood and them to all the tissues in the body. They work to transmute the blood's cellular material into etheric forces that act upon all of the body and indeed our entire being, the physical and non-physical. This process was called the etherization of the blood by the spiritual genius Rudolf Steiner. I feel strongly that red fire zestulite is a long-awaited catalyst for fulfilling Steiner's vision of the spiritual transformation of humanity through this process. As a stone of spiritual self-healing, red fire zestulite resonates beneficially with the heart, lungs, and bloodstream, as well as the brain. However, its vibrations can be utilized for any organ or bodily system. This stone's energetic link with the blood means that its currents can move to any part of the body, carrying its blessings, vibrations, wherever they are needed. A final word regarding spiritual alchemy. The goal of alchemists through many centuries was the fabled philosopher's stone, a magical object or substance with the power of transmutation. It was said to be capable of changing lead into gold and to transform a mortal human being into an immortal one. It is also believed to be capable of healing any illness. The Philosopher's Stone was envisioned as forming in three different manifestations of three different colors, red, white, and black. The usual progression of evolution was from black, dark, polluted, unevolved energy, to white, noble, spiritual, purified energy, and finally to red, powerful, vital energy, the spirit in the flesh. The original black phase may be symbolic of our own unenlightened state before beginning the journey. You know, I've long felt that the world of crystals, the ori- with I- the original white as Eschelite, is resonant with the white aspect of the philosopher's stone and its uplifting qualities. <clears throat> and especially New Zealand white is There's two types. There's 
actually three. There's one in Vermont, there's one in North Carolina, and there's one in New Zealand. Now, the USA ones, um, depending on where you buy them, will either be North Carolina or Vermont, usually North Carolina. Um, but New Zealand white azestulite is a new azestulite, and it's definitely this part of the Philosopher's Stone. So um, it's the white aspect is uplifting qualities. And now with red fire azestulite, it can embody the fully evolved currents that represent the final stage of the evolution of the Philosopher's Stone. It brings light into the body, triggering the process of transmutation. Simply exposing oneself to stones carrying such currents does not accomplish the alchemical work. However, working with white azestulite and red fire azestulite can be of great assistance, providing one with energetic resonance towards which one may evolve through effort, awareness, and surrender. Red fire azestulite carries powerful vibrations in its initial state, just as it comes from the ground. However... Um, when it is subjected to the Azazeo superactivation process, its power is multiplied and it becomes al almost a whole new stone. This is transmutation in action. So um, if you're looking to buy Red Fire Zestulite, I believe uh, on Robert Simmons' website, heavenandearthjewelry.com, um, he sells them raw. He sells them, I believe... Uh, pendants. Um, he sells them polished. You know how I feel about polished stones. I don't like to get them unless I absolutely have to because it cuts down on the energy. But when it comes to these stones, they're usually, um, it will say in the description that it's gone through the Azazeo super activation process. So make sure you get the ones that either state that in the description or look for you can just put Azazeo Super Activation, Red Fire, Azestulite, or Pink Fire Azestulite, whichever one you're looking for. And then you can um, buy those. And they're not that expensive. You don't need a huge piece. And you know, again, you can, you can just need one. And wherever you put it on the body, it will go to there. Um, it also works synergistically with all of these Zestulites, of course, as well as Master Shamanite, Fenakite, Damberite, which I've spoken about in other episodes, so just take a look at those. Um, Naturalite, Scolazite, Zincite, Crimson Cuprite, New Zealand Carnelian, Rosophia, and Morganite. Spiritually, Red Fire Zestulite carries enlightened currents into every cell of the body. Emotionally, it kindles enthusiasm, confidence, power, and optimism. It can stimulate sexual currents between spiritually linked partners. Physically, it can lend energetic support to every part of the body and has a special affinity to the bloodstream, heart, lungs, and brain. Also, both on all of those three levels, it can help with anxiety. It can help with stress. It can help with worry. It can help with insomnia. And if you're looking for an affirmation or an intention to use while meditating with the stone, I have one for you here. And it is, I act in the world with love and power, kindled by the red fire of my passionate commitment to the light. I'll say it again. I act in the world with love and power, kindled by the red fire of my passionate commitment to the light. It's good to have affirmations when you're meditating because we do have a lot of mental chatter going on. And by either listening to a drumming track, if you have one, I have one that I can put up in an episode if you like. If you want, let me know on the website, psychictodaywithjillroberts.com. Again, um, you want to kind of just try and dial down the mental chatter. And by meditating with something that is either getting your mind off of what you're worrying about or what you're just thinking, what comes into your mind as you're laying there, 
<clears throat> an intention and or an affirmation is perfect to just say in your mind over and over again until your mind becomes silent. And in the silence is where we see, we hear, we feel. These stones are energetic beings that help us and we're constantly taking from them. So when you get new stones, introduce yourself to it. See how it can, you know, put yourself into a meditative state and see how you can work together. This is how I come up with explanations for these stones. You may have different, just like everything else, experiences, but here is a guideline. I'd like to do the rest of the Zestulites. If there's any other stones or topics you'd like me to cover, please don't hesitate to reach out. Um, you can reach out on the website has the blog. The blog has the um, pictures of the stones or whatever I'm talking about in my episodes. So you can go there. I am on Facebook. I have five Facebook groups. Um, I have one just for this audience. And as a special treat for all of you, um, since you're an audience member, you get 20% off your first service with me. And that can be anything from a crystal healing session. It could be a channeling um, course. It could be uh, a mediumship uh, appointment. Everything is done online or with, with me through Zoom. Um, you don't have to worry about needing Zoom. I usually spend two to three hours at a clip with my uh, clients. And if you're interested, you can find that information on the website. It'll take you to my services. And that's, again, Psychic Today with Jill Roberts, all one word, dot com. It's the name of the show. Please go to Facebook, join the group. And come enjoy your 20% off. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Valentine's Day with these stones. You have a little bit over a week to get them. A week and a day. And I'm sure you can get them before then if you'd like to work with them. So to all of you, I send you nothing but blessings and my love and light. And I hope you've enjoyed the show.